This is the replacement for the battery on the AIM Solo 2DL. I use this for track days and autocross in a 911. So it's got the ECU hookup, which is nice. Uh, I use the OBD2 port. I don't have a direct wire. Um, I don't need some of the other stuff uh, from the direct wire. Uh, maybe the oil pressure, oil temperature would be nice. But anyway, uh, so I'm going to replace the battery on this guy. It's uh, it's a Rev 1, so the battery is probably the original. It doesn't last very long, so like doing an autocross course and marking the start and end points uh, gets a little dicey. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so to start off, you've got six screws on the back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, you pop those off. And then we'll get to the guts of it. So you'll have the Solo 2, in this case the DL, disassembled. You've got six screws here that are all going on the back here to take the front cover off. The front cover has a rubber seal here as well. You'll need to take two screws out here, these two long ones. So you've got two sizes here. These two go here and here. And then you've got two shorter ones that go here and here. Do not take out these two as they uh, connect to the GPS module and that comes out as one unit. So then you pull the unit out, the PCB out, Flip it around here, and you will see the battery with the cable that comes up into the circuit board. You've got a ribbon cable here that connects to the bottom connector for the data and power cables, and then a ribbon cable that goes up to the GPS cable. I purchased this battery, replacement battery, off of Pegasus Racing. I think it was 30 bucks, something like that. I also got a lighter socket adapter as well, so that I can run it in my other car. So that's where we're at. So there is a pad of double-sided sticky tape on the bottom of this battery. That is very, very sticky. And it took some effort to get that off. So. I'll probably try and reuse it. Uh, I bet some 3M VHT tape or whatever the that stuff is called would probably be okay as well. But I will probably try and reuse this. It's not in bad shape. And as long as I don't tear the crap out of it, then it's probably okay. Yep, got it. Cool. So this battery is the original battery. I've got an early revision of the DL, of the, <coughs> the 2DL. So this is uh, 2018, 628. The battery that I'm replacing it with is 22, so last August. So pretty fresh. So put the tape back on, put it back on the back pad, uh, flip this back over. Uh, the four screws. Remember, your two longer ones go on the screen holes. Uh, the two shorter ones go on the PCB directly. And then the six screws in the back. I might put some silicon grease on the rubber gasket just to keep it fresher. Um, just some of that Honda stuff. And yeah, hopefully it turns back on. So this is the grease that I'm going to use. It's the stuff that you get from Honda. I think I got this from Amazon. So it's supposed to be good for rubber. You can use it for your door seals and stuff like that on your car. Uh, works really good. Cleaned up some squeakiness I had on my 911. So there you go. So I'm going to use that on this gasket that's in this channel here. Uh, you know, gaskets, what, five years old at this point. So, has it, 
Has it worn out? No. Could it probably use a little bit of refurbishment? Yeah. Just not that I'm going to use it in the rain, but just in case. So, yeah. So, put move this gasket up a little bit and then slap it back together. Should be good to go. Okay, got it back together. Let's see if it turns on. Oh, that's a good sign. And the date is super jacked, but that's to be expected. 68% um, on the battery that I put in, so that's not too bad. Uh, I've got the power plug somewhere around here. Um, hopefully we get some GPS. There we go. We get a satellite. Hasn't quite locked on yet. I'm in my house, so probably not going to get a great signal, but hopefully good enough that it'll set the time and everything like that. Um, I think I've got, did it keep my track in there? It did. So that was some autocross that I did the other day. And for some reason I got the wrong time on one of the sessions. That was odd. But anyway, uh, yeah, there you go. Kept all the settings and everything on my, and there's 615, is that 615? No, it's not quite right. That's all right. Um, yeah, so there you go. Success.